I'm going to do a quick video today on my Smith & Wesson Military & Police M&P 1522P. Uh, it's a nice little pistol. It's based off the uh, 1522 rifle and ultimately the uh, Smith & Wesson M&P 15, which is the full 223 version. Uh, this one's calibered in 22 long rifle. Uh, it's got a 25 plus 1 magazine capacity. We'll go ahead and do a safety check here. Clear. Uh, the barrel length is uh, 6 inches. It's a blowback semi-auto. Uh, it's got a 1 and 15 inch twist. Uh, the front and rear sight are adjustable. Uh, right there and right there. Uh, as well as removable from the rail itself. Um, it's uh, about 51 ounces, so it's a pretty hefty little gun being mostly composite. Um, it's got a carbon steel barrel and uh, black finish, obviously, and uh, generally used just for recreational plinking, uh, which is what I use it for. And I've heard some people use it for small game hunting, although I don't think it's very accurate, you know, past 50, 75 yards, really. Um, I do have the uh, green NC Star laser on it, uh, which is nice for the daytime shooting, just plinking, uh, as well as a uh, NC Star red dot um, with a four dot reticle on it, um, which I use in conjunction with the uh, open dot sights on there. Um, the open dot sights are actually pretty sweet. Uh, they work real well. You can take them off, put them back on, and it usually stays uh, uh, pretty zero. Uh, the gun itself has its magazine release here. Um, you can pop it out, pretty much a quick uh, release. Uh, nothing really else on this side, obviously you have the uh, ejection port, uh, which does lock open after the last round shot. Um, otherwise on this side, it does have the uh, bolt lock button, as well as the release button. So that's kind of a nice function uh, on a 22 rifle that you don't, uh, pistol at least, that you don't see too often. And it does have the uh, safety uh, switch there as well. Um, I did a few upgrades to the weapon. Um, I did put a whole pistol grip on it, um, as well as some tough guard, I believe it's tough guard uh, rail covers just to kind of get a nicer feel around it does have a muzzle flash on there, muzzle flash hider, birdcage style that uh, was originally with it. Uh, you can twist them off and put anything else on there that you want. I just really haven't had a chance, nor uh, the need as that birdcage works pretty well. This assemble, what I'm going to start with is just uh, obviously releasing the magazine. We'll go ahead and uh, push the bolt forward uh, into the forward position. Uh, the the uh, pins are very similar just to an AR-15 type rifle. Uh, you have the uh, takedown pins. Uh, that just push right out and uh, if you actually push with your finger on it, at least mine, I can push it out with my finger. I don't even need to use a, uh, a punch or anything. It doesn't come fully out, uh, but when you do pull it out, it will allow you to uh, rotate the uh, upper receiver up off the lower receiver. Uh, the front pin is also functioning. If you can uh, get that off, that's uh, a little bit easier to clean with, so you can just push on that. Go ahead and pull that right uh, to the outward position and you're upper receiver should slide right off so very simple uh, lower receiver there once you have the uh, lower separated from the upper receiver what you can do is use your charging handle and just go ahead and pull out your whole bolt carrier assembly slides right out uh, with that you're left with just the upper receiver you can take off the open sights I just kind of prefer to leave them on to keep zero uh, makes it a little easier when I get to the range so often um, Pull your charging handle right off the top and you're left with just the bolt carrier assembly. Uh, the lower receiver really doesn't break down any further than that. Obviously you can take your pistol grip off, but other than that I just kind of leave it as is, clean with my uh, brush from that point. Um, when you do take the bolt carrier assembly apart, you got to be kind of careful that you don't uh, throw your spring out. Uh, it is a little bit difficult uh, to kind of get this thing so What you want to do is you kind of want to push forward. As you're pushing forward, you'll notice that that pin right there that's holding all the recoil uh, kind of pushes more out on this side. Uh, this pin on this side does have a um, kind of a groove in the actual bar itself, which allows it to come up and out. Again, that's where you want to be careful of the spring popping out, uh, kind of catch that. You'll be able to remove the spring. Um, at that point, then this uh, pin more or less should be able to slide right out um, and then you're able to slide that off there and that leaves you with the bolt itself and then the carrier uh, which is a 
little plastic piece that doesn't break down any further and you're able just to kind of wipe it down. Um, this I really don't take down any further. I'm sure you can get in there with the, uh, you know, the, the rest of these pins and take it apart, but I really haven't ever found a need for it. I can get my grease in there or my uh, gun oil and get most of the residues out. And uh, so the first thing I'm going to do uh, is always, as always, is start with uh, putting some solvent down the barrel of it. I'll just squirt some down there, uh, maybe run a brush down there and then squirt some more uh, and kind of just let the solvent sit in there while I uh, go back with uh, my brush and uh, clean up the upper and lower receiver uh, with some solvent just uh, getting uh, the inside real well the outside pretty lightly as it's all composite we don't want to mess with the composite at all um, and uh, just making sure I get the uh, brush over all the pieces real well I'll even uh, go ahead and do the bolt itself and uh, the pins and everything and the, the carrier as well um, let's go ahead and do that What I do now is uh, go back and uh, clean the barrel some more, really work on that, uh, go down it with a wire brush, um, get it real scrubbed down good, uh, go back through with a cotton swab, kind of use that as my test to make sure it's coming back a little bit clean, uh, throw some oil down it and then I'll put a, a clean patch just to uh, push the uh, loose oil through and uh, get it nice and oiled up inside. The Now that I got my barrel cleaned up, what I'm going to do is just use my REM oil wipe, go over all the pieces real well, leave a nice uh, layer of the oil on the in interior parts, uh, and then uh, we'll go ahead and uh, wipe off the exterior. But I still do use this on the exterior just to catch any loose following that may be on the pieces. Okay, so once I've got everything wiped down with the rim oil wipe, uh, kind of let everything sit while I go ahead and reassemble the gun. Uh, the first thing you want to do when you're doing the reassembly is the bolt, obviously. Uh, the bolt carrier, I should say. Uh, the bolt carrier is not the easiest thing to put back together just due to that spring that you have in there. Um, but essentially you want the, uh, the bolt carrier uh, to uh, go around the bolt here like that. Uh, the next thing you're going to want to do is to take your spring. You'll have a... Um, uh, recess on the on one side of it that side will uh, go through and remain on the uh, bolt itself so it catches right there um, at the same time what you want to do is take your spring slide it back onto your pin here and as you notice it it goes over the pin itself so you kind of have to push this in um, in order enough for it to uh, get past that recess that's actually in that pin right there uh, to get back down to that clip. So as you can imagine, it's a little bit difficult. Uh, you kind of have to work a little bit, use two hands. So I'm going to go ahead and put that down, do that here real quick. So then once you get it back together, what you have is uh, the bolt. It should uh, ride on that bolt carrier fairly easily. If you hear a bunch of grime in there, you got a problem. You got to go back, clean those uh, slide rails pretty good. Uh, but otherwise, everything should be good there. Uh, you can go ahead and uh, Take your upper receiver, what we'll do is we'll go ahead and put our charging handle and kind of have to hold around there with two hands like that so it stays on there because what you're going to want to do is put that all into the assembly at once 
and as you notice it'll click a little bit and everything should look all right there. Once you have that done you should be able to go ahead and reattach it to your lower assembly uh, or lower receiver. You're going to want to get your pins into the correct position so it's able to uh, be put on to the lower receiver. Your upper receiver then will just go uh, fit on there and you should be able to uh, put your pin right back through. Uh, on this side then you just uh, put the and the pin there you go and then your gun should be uh, assembled at this point what we'll do is we'll go ahead and test the action seems like the bolt is carrying correctly we'll go ahead and lock the bolt into the rearward position make sure that's good looks like that's functioning we'll go ahead and test the uh, release that's working uh, we'll go ahead and uh, test our magazine release that shouldn't be affected but that's working and uh, we'll go ahead and test our safety on this side which is also working. Uh, so everything's working, everything's cleaned up. What I'm gonna do now is go back through and uh, use my uh, silicone cloth, or this my wax cloth, and then uh, my silicone cloth afterwards. Let's go do that. And there we go, that is the uh, overview, disassembly, cleaning, and reassembly of the Smith & Wesson MMP 1522P. Great little pistol, 22 long rifle. Hope you enjoyed, hope this helps, thanks.